How's it going out there, YouTubers? Cybernex Shark here with a new unboxing video for you guys. So let's get right into this unboxing and see what I got. So welcome to another unboxing video, folks. And all you YouTubers out there, out there. Anywho, so the movie <clears throat> I'm doing an unboxing of came out a couple weeks ago now. Uh, it's actually been... Uh, Two months now since it came out. Uh, uh, it came out the end of September. I'm finally just getting it because I waited till Black Friday. Bull Moose had an amazing, awesome deal uh, for Black Friday. And they had 50% off all their 4K films they had in stock. Which I thought was a really amazing deal. So I ended up picking up quite a few 4Ks. And a lot of the movies that I'll be unboxing in the next few videos that you guys will be seeing are these 4Ks that I picked up. So to start off this one, we're actually going to be unboxing a movie I thought was really decent. I thought it was well directed. I thought what what Ron Howard had to work with uh, from you know what was already filmed, what he had to deal with, uh, he directed it very well. He pieced it together very well, and I thought it was a decent and awesome you know a new addition to the Star Wars series. And then of course is the film Solo, a Star Wars story. Oh yeah. I thought this was really good. I and really enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining and fun. I don't see what the big deal was, why a lot of people thought it was so horrible. I thought it was really well done. I thought that the uh, droid character that was in this, that's supposed to be like Han Solo's friend, and it kind of like a C-3PO character, R2-D2 character, was hilarious. Uh, I thought that Danny uh, Donald Glover wasn't too bad as, as you know, uh, Calrissian. Uh, I liked... You know, uh, Paul Bettany's character in it, Sandy Newton's, Amelia Clark's, Woody Harrison. And I thought Alden Enric did a pretty decent job of, you know, pretending to be Harrison Ford, really. Uh, I thought he did a pretty decent job as him. And I thought it was very visually beautiful, uh, really amazing, and I just thought it was really well done. Uh, but I thought it was, like I said, a decent film. So as you can see here, I got, like I said, I got the 4K of it. This is the uh, front of it. I thought it was pretty decent looking for the 4K. Even the regular Blu-ray is the, pretty much the exact same cover. On the sides here, you can see it says Solo, A Star Wars Story, Ultra HD Blu-ray. And then, of course, a picture of, of Han Solo himself, along with Lucasfilms down here. On the other side, same thing exactly. Han Solo again, Solo so Star Wars Story 4K. A uh, picture of Solo and then Lucasfilms. On the back here, you can see a nice picture of Chewie and Han and a few of the other characters of the film. Uh, Symposium, of course your digital code. Movies Anywhere, you can see pretty much majority of all features being released now have at least some sort of saying of the Movies Anywhere because they're really trying to, to you know, sell it, I feel. Uh, which I find that so funny how it's like so prominent now. And then of course it's, a, you know, got your uh, spef specifications, your special features and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, very sleek case. I thought it looked really nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, nice and done. So let's go ahead and pull this one off and see what the actual DVD Blu-ray case looks like. So once we take that off, as you can see here, exactly the same cover for the 4K. Uh, same spine, exactly. Uh, still the same picture of uh, Solo down here, Lucasfilms. Solo a Star Wars Story and then 4K Ultra HD, of course. Uh, the back is exactly the same as the slip cover, as you can see. See there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So let's go ahead and grab Mr. Trusty Mr. Knife and open this bad boy up and see what's inside. So let's get Mr. Trusty Mr. Knife, which he was over to the side this time, and let's open this bad boy up. Alright. Get this plastic off. Plastic, please come off. Not my gumdrop buttons. Floating Shrek. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, nice, nice. Very nice. So, of course, you got your digital HD, of course, comes with it. Which is so nice that they're including that with all the pretty much new releases these days. But, very nice. Both discs have actual... Uh, cover art on them, which is beautiful. I love it. 
uh, not just the 4K, because I've noticed that sometimes majority of the 4Ks have some nice kind of disc art, but not all the disc usually, but the actual Blu-ray actually has disc art this time, which I think is really nice. You can see here, I think that's really awesome. You got the nice picture, it's pretty much exactly the cover uh, from the case and slip, as you can see there. Really nice, looks really slick and beautiful. Really enjoy that. And then of course the 4K itself is a nice big picture of the Millennium Falcon, which is really awesome. Really nice and bold. I like the look. I love the colors, uh, the scheme. I think that's a really nice color scheme. And Solo, the Star Wars story, is a really nice, big, bold interpretation there. I think that's really nicely done. Uh, nice and slick. But that's a really nice looking disc art. I really enjoy it. I think it's really nice looking. Uh, sometimes they don't really come with much disc art and stuff like that. So it's very nice to see actual disc art on these. And uh, I always think it makes it look more, you know... Uh, just elegant and, and makes it look uh, just more pristine and just look, it's nice you know you pull it out you're like ooh I get look at this cool picture I get to look at before I put it in my player you know I think it's really nice looks really cool though really enjoy, I'm really liking the 4K one with the Millennium Falcon I think that's really nice so let's see what kind of cool special features this comes with so let's see here put the slip cover back on. So for special features, of course, the 4K Ultra HDs really don't come with much special features these days yet. It, that's something that I'm sure in the future they'll start putting more on. Uh, but of course, you know, it has the Ultra Play ability, uh, widescreen color uh, with the Spectrum immersive audio, of course, the high dynamic range, and then of course the 4K resolution. But on Blu-ray, it comes with some awesome special features which is always awesome. I love when it comes with special features. I always hate it when a brand new movie comes out, something brand new, uh, just with, came out of theaters, just going on to Blu-ray, 4K, and stuff like that, and it has absolutely no special features. Like, all it has is a theatrical trailer. And I think that's always funny. I'm like, why doesn't this have any special features? I mean, that's probably one of the best parts about getting your home release. You know, you get to watch all those cool extras. So it's always, it's always nice to see when movies have a lot of great special features. So this one comes with eight deleted scenes. Uh, you got Solo, the director and cast roundtable. You got Becoming a Droid, L337, Meet the Newest Droid, and the Woman Behind Its Wry Humor. Then you get into the Mail Storm, the Kessler Run, which is join Han and Chewie as at the controls of the Millennium Falcon for the first time. You got Remake of the Millennium Falcon, which goes, it's a get the lowdown on the most famous ship in the galaxy. Then you got Castan on Castan, which is iconic Star Wars writer Lawrence Castan and his son Jonathan Castan share what it was like to write the film together. Then you got Team Chewie, see what it takes to bring your favorite Wookiee to life. And then it says, and more special features. So that's cool. It's a lot, lots of great special features. Can't wait to watch those and check them out. Uh, uh, the lead scenes are always the funnest part, I feel, between that and gag reels. Those are always the funnest for me. Uh, but making those are always fun, too, especially when they're, like, really in-depth and tell you a lot of history about how they made the film and stuff like that. It's really cool seeing all that behind-the-scenes stuff. So it's going to be fun checking out all these awesome special features. And I'm really looking forward to the Castan Castan one because Lawrence Castan, who... Uh, you know, wrote some of the original Star Wars films. That'll be interesting to see how him and his son work together writing this one and stuff like that. So that's going to be cool and interesting to see. So that's going to be really fun. But yeah, that's that's that beautiful Han Solo's a Star Wars story film, people. That's It's a really nice release. Really thought they did a really good job. Like I said, Discard is amazing and wonderful. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, definitely check it out, people. It's worth the watch. Really fun, really awesome, uh, really well done, I thought. I thought, you know, what, like I said, what Ron Howard had to work with, he really made a decent film. Uh, and it was just a real fun and uh, enjoyable to watch in theaters. So if, that, if you haven't seen this, definitely give it a chance, people. It's worth the watch. It's fun. If you liked Rogue, uh, Rogue One, the Star Wars story, if you liked, uh, you know, e either of the new Star Wars films, Definitely give this a whirl because it's it's up there with those guys. It's par. It's really fun and enjoyable. Definitely worth the watch. So that's it for this unboxing video, folks. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. And also, 
Thank you for subscribing. And if it's your first time here, if you've been here before and you haven't hit that subscribe button, do I need to have you go on the castle run with me? Come on, people. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss this video or any of the awesome videos I put up. And as always, people, keep your eyes out for any older, newer videos you might not have seen mine yet. And as always, people, check out the awesome Stardust app, which you can find in your Google Play Store or your Apple Play Store. And it's a free, uh, awesome app that you can download where you can watch three to 30 second little mini reviews on new trailers, trailers of movies that are going to be coming out, uh, TV shows, movies, documentaries, anything your heart desires. And also, this awesome app is constantly updating and adding new special features to it, such as polls and contests. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check it out, download it for free. Look for me under Cyberneck Shark, and if you follow me, I'll follow you back. And as always, people, catch you next one.